believe. Um, is it Whitchurch from, uh, from from Wales? One of the top schools, two top schools actually in the UK. So, and I understand you also won a game as well against one of the schools in Wales. So that's a fantastic achievement. Um, I'd like to thank your parents for supporting you guys to come and play for the Quins, and I'd like to thank all your coaches as well, and obviously in particular Phil, um, who's done an amazing job um, with you guys. I've seen you play a couple of times actually this year, and I've been very impressed with what I saw. So support, and, and when you get older, guys, when you get older and greater like me, you'll start to realise a lot more how much of an impact the parents have and the support. So give a big round of applause, please, first. Um, and awards, basically five different awards today, and a special award as well. Um, the first award I'm going to go through is the Young Player of the Year Award. Um, this, this, this was a tough, like all awards were tough, uh, it was between the coaches and managers we came up with, who was getting what. Um, we've, like, like Andy said, this year we've 33 players signed up for the Quins, which was a massive increase uh, for this, this squad. So much so that we don't really have the competition in the country that we need. Um, so we've been trying to get external fixtures from touring teams, um, and that will continue next year. We're going to try and get more fixtures. There's also hopefully a good chance of playing 15 state next year, which will be a big step in the right direction. Um, because at the end of the day, the whole point of the under 19s is to, to finish off your, your youth rugby, but to also get ready for senior rugby. Um, and that was one of the big aims this year, one of my aims is. Um, well, number one fun, but also getting ready for the seniors. Um, and we had quite a few guys who managed to play senior rugby this year. Um, Jack, who was, who was, he's, a, he's a back row for us, but he's, he, he's out in the, the centres and the seniors, and he, he reckons he's, he's got a bit out there, he's about a silly ball about him. But um, there, there's a couple other guys who played senior rugby this year. Uh, Christian Smallberger, too, is not here today, but um, he played in the final for the Quinns first at the end of the season. And that was massive, so. Um, that's, that's part of what I'm doing too, is I want you guys, I know a lot of you are going to go to university um, and, and, and leave here, but I want, if your parents do stay, you come back and you get the training and you train with the seniors. Um, and this period is crucial, these next couple of years, you can really determine how good a parent you become. Um, if you party too much, like some of you like to do, or this, what you do. Um, then, then you, could, you won't make the most of your talent, but if you really train hard over the next couple of years, you can make a difference to your income and your expenses. Um, okay, sorry, so, so Young Player of the Year, it was a tight one. Um, we had a couple of guys who came up who could have been playing under 16s, but they, they pushed themselves on to play under, under 19s. Um, this guy's got a hell of a turn of speed. Um, he, I find it difficult to put him in a position. Uh, he doesn't. He doesn't argue, he just gets on with it. He's a quiet assassin. Um, he works hard, he never misses a training session. He's a cracking, cracking manners, cracking gentleman. Great rugby player, a good tackler, not scared of anything. And um, well done, Sam Johnson. Next award is the Spirit of Rugby Award. Um, there's a lot of really good players here, and we've cracked the culture. As I said, we've got people from all over the world, which is brilliant. Um, and, and a lot of you guys have been in Alabama for quite a while now. Um, but culture is a big thing about rugby. It's a different sport than several other sports. Um, you really can come from anywhere, and people will accept you and, and uh, you're part of the team. We've got a really good leadership group who's helped, helped make that happen. Um, the three people that were nominated for Spirit of Rugby was Tijuan, um, Jack and Pierre, um, and the winner of Spirit of Rugby for 2019 was Pierre. Also on Pierre, um, Pierre came to us with not very much English. Uh, and not very much skills at the start of the year, he was, but he, he had the best attitude ever. Um, he was a massive team player, really, really just tried to learn so much. Um, and it culminated in the sevens, um, we were watching one of the professional teams playing, and the guy made a break on the outside, and ran, scored a great try, and Pierre, Pierre 
next team with the ball, do that. Um, and then in the, in the semi-final, he gets the ball and he just outpaces the whole the whole defence. Because Ryan scores the corner to, scores the corner to win, the, win the game. Um, it's just brilliant to see because um, he, he's new to rugby, but he's learned so much and he's the best for it. Um, so well done. Last, uh, I'm sorry, another one is a uh, player of the year. We've, we've got a lot of very skillful players, as I said, there's some people like Bear who just started this year pretty much, um, and other people who've been a bit longer. Um, the top three players are the people that we picked as player of the year um, was Burtis, Marius, and Paolo. And the winner of Play of the Year was Paolo. Good joining, mate. Right. Um, so we'll save that one. Next up is uh, Most Improved Player. Um, we, we, with Steve, Steve was big on skills, as you know. We, 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 our warm up was always with getting past the skills up, um, which and we saw a massive progression across the year. Um, the three people that were picked for the promotion to the player was Jake Willoughby, John, and Jimmy Al Jimmy Alcazar, um, and the winner was Jimmy. Okay, this guy is definitely here, so he's not going to embarrass me. Um, this, this last last award here before Andy, Andy talks with the other one is um, it's try of the year. Um, again, it was a hard one to pick because um, we played a lot of, a lot of games, a lot of sevens especially, and we scored some wonderful tries, team tries. Um, but there was one try that really stood out. Um, we played the Dubai College Tens, and we played a lot of really uh, top quality schools. Uh, we were the only club side in it. Um, and we, we battled our way, we played the, t the teams that ended up winning this for the overall tournament. We went into the bowl, um, and in the bowl final we played against Dubai College B, who were the, in the uh, Dubai Sevens under 19s final, uh, in the actual final on the main pitch. So they were, they were forced to be reckoned with, a really strong team. Um, but they wanted to play us on a smaller pitch, and I was absolutely delighted to see that because we just tried to get the aggression up the boys, and we just got stuck in there and played some brilliant people. Um, tackled our hearts out, it was just a proper war of the game, it was brilliant. And everybody stood, stood, um, stood up and, and, and was counting. Um, but just towards the end of the game, it was pretty much getting into injury time. Uh, we managed to get a turnover and spread the ball wide. Um, and the blade with his right foot step, which um, he always does, put his step on and went to the outside and, and scored a well, it was it was nil nil this game by the way, so there was nothing in it. Um, and instead of just putting the ball down gracefully and accepting it was a good try, he did a ash splash and a big dive over the line. Um, but it was a brilliant try and it meant that we won the, the bowl at the Dubai College Towns. We, we beat them at their own tournament, um, which was a fantastic result for the team. Um, so well done, Lee. You got the try of the year. still talk through the award anyway. Um, apparently he's the currently he's the longest standing junior squad member of the Quins, having started playing here in January 2008. Uh, this year he will leave after 12 years with the club and uh, he's one of the first players we associated with the Devon Harlequins. So unfortunately he's going to study where there's no Quins club to continue his rugby, however he will continue his rugby either in the Netherlands or the UK. So, he, he, as he got older, he's worked harder to recruit players from the Queen's family along with his dad, Daniel, who was instrumental in getting the numbers up. So thank you very much to him. Um, it's Paolo again, Pretorius. As I say, he's, unfortunately he's not, not here, 
um, but there's a special certificate for him in recognition of his long-serving, standing relationship with the club. So I'll present this to Phil. Just as a final word, um, my son started playing for the Queens. We were at the Queens then, we were the bats. Was, was it always there training? Was it, was it always there for phone calls and text messages? He kept me on the ball, kept me on the pulse. Um, huge, huge um, work, workload that he took. Um, and he was, he was absolutely brilliant to work with and it was a pleasure to, to have him alongside me. So thank you so much, Sean, for everything you did. Another person who's been more behind the scenes is over to my left hand side here. Um, she's actually leaving the Quins in, in her role, but she was, uh, she's been the junior manager for the past few years. Um, she's a wonderful person. She has been texting her, complaining about pitches and different things throughout the year. She has to put up with me um, stressing over my receiving her line and grey hairs, but um, she's a cracking person. Uh, the club is going to miss you. Um, thank you so much for everything you did for, for the under 19s, for myself, um, and for the Harlequins generation. Thank you. And before we end, guys, we can't, cannot end without our team song. Um, there's a microphone here. My voice is a wee bit shabby. After a couple of drinks, it's a wee bit better. Um, but um, you guys can all get up and do our team song. Don't let the team move in a Where's the king? Where's the king? Where's the king? Where's the king? Where's the 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 Blowing like the breeze, country roads, take me home to the place I belong. West Virginia, mountain mama, take me home, country roads. <laughs> Two, three, go!